Alright, welcome to another one in the segment I'm calling Automotive Basics. I guess this is what, episode 2? Now, yesterday I went to Harbor Freight and I picked this up. This is a tire inflator with a gauge on it. I like this one because it has a lock on it. So it'll actually lock to your valve stem. I thought I had others around, but apparently I don't. I thought I had basic gauges that I could show you, but of course I don't. Um, so it, you want to keep your tires aired up properly for a few good reasons. Now, this may look low because I let a little air out for the purpose of this video. Uh, one of which, one of those reasons would be tire life. Tires are not cheap. And of course, this is now... Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> As I say, of course, that's not going to work right. Now, on this gauge, I don't know if you can read it from here, but it's reading 20 PSI. Now, how do we know what to run? Now, I'm also going to show a, vi a, a picture of it. But, uh, actually, yeah, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Although it's got my VIN number, or VIN. It shows front, rear, and spare. It shows my fronts are supposed to be at 30. I normally run them at 35. Just like my rears. Uh, I think it handles better that way. And also, another reason you want to run... You know, you want to be careful with your tire pressure is fuel economy. If you are running with underinflated tires, it takes more mass to turn. Or, wait, hold on. It takes more to turn. <laughs> so, this is a very easy thing. I'm going to also put a link in the description to different tire gauges you can use. I'm looking for about 35, so a little bit more than halfway between the 20 and the 40. Yeah. Now you can do this. I'm actually going to put a link to quite a few things in the description. These here are not the most accurate ones you can get, but it's very easy. And uh, very easy, very simple, and I was able to do this in a three minute video clip. So, <laughs> this thought I would share, just a little bit more knowledge, and I have a few more tire related ones coming up. Now let me go ahead and check the rear. I did not check the rears. Uh, last time I checked them was honestly in February. Actually I didn't really check the front, I just let some air out. <laughs> now you may hear my air compressor kick on because these are some big tires. <laughs> okay, these are, th my rear is absolutely perfect. But then you want to go around and do the same thing to all four tires. And also, you want to make sure your spare tire is properly inflated. Because if you get uh, caught somewhere <laughs> and your spare is flat, it's not going to do you any good. So thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Alright, so I just got done shooting that last clip. And I realized I may have rushed through it. And, uh failed to tell you a couple things. Like I said, this piece here, I got at uh, Harbor Freight. It was 10 bucks. They have a sale on it. I don't know how much it normally is. Um, I was rushing through it. I don't know why. And uh, so here's the thing. How often should you check your tires? You know, there's a few people that uh, say once a month. Some people say once a week. There are even people who will not get in their car without checking their tires and ch tire pressures. Um, if you think a tire looks low, check it. 
I would, I'm one of those people, I would say somewhere between every two weeks and every month is a good chance. Uh, if you have a rapid change in air pressure, I believe when you go down in temperature, uh, it's uh, every for every 10 degrees you lose one psi of air pressure in your tires. So if you have a cold snap, check your tires. Um, like I said, I have another video I'm planning on doing. I got to. Uh, uh, I don't know when I'm going to release it. Uh, I got to work on it. Actually, I'm not even sure when I'm going to work on it. Uh, I need to do a few things. So. <laughs> um, yeah. So. And like I said, make sure you check your your spare tire. I mean, it, you know, it may sound like a little. It may it may sound funny, but you know, I, I had a Chevy Colorado, a 2007, that had the tire pressure monitors on it, and I was going insane trying to figure out why my tire pressure monitor light kept coming on. And uh, I went, I tried four different gauges. They all read that all four tires were the same. I didn't think. Now I'm a mechanic. Uh, I start at that time. I was a lawnmower mechanic, but still, you know, I I have a lot of automotive knowledge, but I just didn't think. Check the spare tire. I got it. So I put up on the lift, and I forget what what made me even look at it. I I put tire gauge on the uh, spare tire, and it was uh, about ten pounds low. Put the uh, put air in it. Tire pressure light went out. Uh, that is because that is a full si a full size spare on that truck, and they give you that light so that you uh, check your tire pressures and uh, also check the spare. Because what happens if you're on the side of the road and your spare is flat and you have a flat tire? You're not going anywhere. You gotta call a tow truck, or call call a friend and have them drive you with your spare tire to a Wawa or someplace with a with a uh, with a uh, air thing and air up that spare. A uh, couple other things: uh, tire rotation. Uh, I just did mine in February, which was a little over three thousand miles ago. Actually, 3,000 miles ago was about 143.6 something. I'm at 143.877. Uh, on my next oil change, I might might rotate them. Uh, I, you know what? Honestly, I'm gonna. I don't want to lie to you. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna. Uh, excuse me. Put a link into the video description uh, Eric the car guy I believe he did a video on tire rotation so I will put a link to his video um, what else um, I'm gonna do a couple more I'm gonna do two more tire videos uh, the one's actually going to involve one of the tires that's in the back of that blue truck right now. Because those are trash tires and I don't mind doing what I'm going to do to it just, just to show you what's going on. Or just to show you uh, a video. Actually, I'm not going to destroy the tire, but, you know, I will... Okay, I'm going to do a tire plug vi video. How to properly t plug a tire... I thought about taking my white truck and just driving it over a nail or something, because the tires on that are shot. And uh, I'm like, no, I don't think that's a good idea, because I was going to show you how to uh, how to you know roll the truck until you see the nail and then pull it out. But uh, what I'm going to do. And I, I might do this tomorrow, so you might see the video tomorrow. I mean, if I'm going to talk about it today, I'm not going to be a jerk and make you wait a week. Uh, it's going to take a nail, drive it in there with a hammer, and pull it out and plug the tire. <laughs> it's a very simple process. Uh, I'm going to—I'll—I'll I'll, I'll explain more in that video. Um, 
Okay, I'll go be do I'll, I'm actually going to do that in the basement, to be honest with you. Um, what else? As far as, uh, like, with the checking of tires, uh, there, I, I said that there's different, uh, you know, Harbor Freight sells, my mom actually has one from there. I, uh, actually, in her van, I keep a kit, she has a tire plug kit, a mini air compressor, and, uh, I actually bought her a kit, I'll put a link in the description to this, it was, it was about 200 bucks. I told her it's a, uh, Christmas present I hope she never has to use, and unfortunately she did have to use it one day, and my mother was right, grew up in a time where people were taught how to do things. That does not seem to happen anymore. She knows how to change a tire. She's in her 50s now. Uh, what she, what I got for her is a kit that it has a, uh, a jack that you plug into the cigarette lighter. It's actually kind of slow, but it uh, has a little button on it up and down. Raises the van up has a 12-volt uh, uh, impact gun, take the five lugs off, she take the rim off, put the spare tire on, and be fine. Uh, that is, it's a nice kit, because she knows what she's doing, she's just not, she doesn't have the strength to, you know, be breaking loose lug bolts and stuff. So, for her, that actually works out quite well, and I'm glad that it does for her. Even though she's only had to use it once, I'm actually glad that she had it because that way she didn't. I was at work and I work about an hour away, worked about an hour from her house. <coughs> so she'd either have to wait on AAA or wait on me. But she was able to do it on the side of the road herself. So that, that worked out. Um, yeah, because changing the tire is pretty easy. That's another one I think I'm going to do. I don't own anything front wheel drive. I, I might borrow her van for that video. Because I'm assuming most of the viewers here would have something front wheel drive. I would do probably my blue truck or this. You know, safe jack and point on this, and then also do a safe jack and point on her minivan um, for changing a tire. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is there to talk about. I've actually talked longer than the actual doing a, see, uh, I was talking about with the uh, little mini air compressors. They work great. They're something you want to keep your vehicle running while you're using it because uh, you're providing more juice that way and you're not running your battery dead. But on a tire this size, it actually takes a very oh, oh wow sorry about that it takes a very very long time to fill one of the tires uh, like the one that's on my blue truck and white truck there they're <coughs> they're the same height as these but they're wider so it would take even longer I have a semi professional grade air compressor in my basement and uh you know, it's not, the thing's actually, God, I think I got it in 99 or 98. So it's getting up there in age, but it's, it's, it's uh, quite good. It's a good machine. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, actually, believe it or not, I got that at Walmart, of all places. It's a Campbell Hausfeld. So I might, I might do. I actually, I might do a video on that because uh, I think the last time the oil was changed in that was. Uh, oh, excuse me. I was say 2005 or 2004. <coughs> and what happened was the motor or the uh, compressor itself locked up. My dad and I, we took it apart and. Uh, we got it free, and then we threw some, uh, I think it was, uh, oh, sorry, I think it was a 20W50 motor oil that we had sitting around, engine oil. 
that we had just sitting around in it. <laughs> so, uh, it could probably use the service. <laughs> but hey, it's been running this long. And I've been talking for 11 minutes. But yeah, when it comes to your tires, your tires are the most important thing on your car, to be honest. Um, actually, I might even put a link to Eric the Car Guy's video on that. Where he talks about your tire, how important tires are. And, uh, because that is, there are only four small contact patches that actually touch the road. And that's your tires. Everything else, nothing else is going to keep you on the road. <laughs> well, well, actually they are, but, you know. I don't know. My brain just shut off on me. I'm actually about to go to my mom's house right now. Uh, give my niece this uh, thing I got for her yesterday. And uh, then I'm about to go to Walmart for something for another video. But, uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.